Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to show you how to create a USB install disk for Windows 10 or Windows 11, and we're going to be able to remove some of the things which are preventing people installing Windows 11, or maybe reasons why you don't want to install Windows 11, such as the need for an online Microsoft account. We're also going to show you how to install it so you can have a local account. Also, so we can bypass the nagware at the beginning when you install the telemetry data, and lots of other things included as we go through the process. So let's head over to the computer and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is to head over to this website, so rufus.ie. I'll leave links to this in the video description. So Rufus is basically for creating bootable USB drives, but also has some cool features built in so you can actually tweak or modify your Windows installation to get the best Windows user experience, as you can see on screen now. So to start off with, we're gonna need a USB drive, eight gigabytes or larger. You can, if you want to, download the Windows ISOs yourself manually from Microsoft, or we can allow Rufus to do it for us, which I'll be showing in this particular video. So if you scroll down towards the bottom here, we see the downloads. So there's a standard version, which you can install onto your computer, or there's a portable version, which you can run just whenever you want to, maybe keep it on a flash drive for a later date if you want to use it. So click on Rufus 4.6p.exe. Potentially when you're watching this, it might be a newer version out, but the uh, the outcome will be pretty much the same. So click on this one, close down the advert, and then you'll get a pop-up asking where you want to save this particular application to. So let's save it to our Windows desktop. And that will happen very quickly. So once that's done, we can close this window. Now we can go over to our desktop and double click on the Rufus application. At this point, you'll get the user account control. So just click on yes. And also you get the option, do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates whilst online? So yeah, we'll do that to make sure we got the very latest version. And you'll see this is now ready. So let's install our USB drive into the USB port. And you can see it's automatically populated. This one's a 32 gig drive, but you can use an eight gig or larger. And we've got some options here. So our boot selection. So there's various options you can choose, but we want a disk or ISO image. And on this section here, we need to select whether or not it's going to be something downloaded, which it is, and then click on download. So what this is going to do is download the file, showing you what files are actually available or what operating systems are available. So you've got a couple of options here for Windows users, Windows 10. You can choose to have a Windows 10 installer, or you can choose Windows 11. I'm going to choose Windows 11 and we'll choose continue. Now we get some more options. So which release version do we want to use? Do you want to use the latest? Yes, we do. If you want to use an older one, then you'll have to do it the manual way, but that is fine. You may have other options available when you come to use this yourself, but we we'll use the latest version. So click continue. Then you have to choose the edition, which there's only one edition available. So that's absolutely fine. Click on continue. And then you have to choose a language. So I was going to use English International because we are in the United Kingdom. Click on continue. And now we have our architecture. So there's only X64 available. So we'll just go with that. You've got the option to download using a browser, but you don't necessarily need to do that. So when you're ready, click on download. And now it's going to ask you where you want to save the download to. So for simplicity, I'm going to choose the desktop. And now you'll see it's downloading. So there's our status. Depending on your internet speed, this may take a very short time or it may take ages. So just let it get to 100% and then we'll come back when we've got some more interaction to do. Okay, so now it's scanned the image that we've downloaded and it's actually made the modifications to everything we need here. So the uh, image option, our partition scheme, UEFI settings, etc. So this is all absolutely fine. So next thing to do is click on start. Now this is where the very cool features are kicked in and you have the choice of doing whatever you want to. So if you're on an older system, which doesn't allow you to install Windows 11 because you don't have secure boot or you don't have TPM 2.0 or you've got four gigs or less of RAM, then you can tick that. Now on this particular instance, I don't need that, but you may do, so leave that checked. We also got this one here, so remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. Yep, we definitely don't want that, so I'm gonna leave that. You can also create a local account, and I'm gonna do that, and we'll just call it user. So this is gonna create a local account with the username user. Also, you can choose if you want to have the 
regional settings, the same as what we're doing now. So on this particular setup, you've also got the option here for disable data collection. So that is skipping the privacy questions when you first load up Windows. And also you've got the option here for disabling BitLocker automatic device encryption, which is a default option if you're installing a fresh version of 24H2. So I'm going to choose that as well because I don't particularly want BitLocker. So that is my settings. So this is going to create now a installable Windows image, which you can boot from. You can do a clean install, or if you want to, you can do an in-place upgrade. So if you're already on a older version of Windows 11 or you're on Windows 10 and you want to do an in-place upgrade to Windows 11, but using these settings we've got here, then this drive will do both things. So let's click on OK. And it says there another program or process is accessing this drive. Do you want to format it anyway? Yes, we do. It will erase all the information as we've got the notification there. So it's going to erase the disk in its entirety. So make sure if there's anything on the disk that you uh, obviously have it saved somewhere. When you're happy, click on OK. Now you'll see in the status bar, it's going to go through telling you exactly what it's doing. So such as erasing the disk, creating a file system, making the boot record, then copying the ISO files. Again, depending on the speed of your particular system, this may take a particularly long time or it may just take a few minutes. But just let it do its own thing and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so the process is finished and if you're watching the status whilst you're doing your own, you'll see basically what's going on is injecting code into the Windows installer. But basically that is it, it's done. So now the disk is ready. So now if we go into our computer and go into our installation drive, you see it's just a Windows setup. So if we go into Windows setup, it will start the Windows setup so you can install Windows 11. If you want to do an in-place upgrade, you can do it from here. Or alternatively, you can use this as a bootable drive. Yep, we do want to quit that. We don't want to carry on with that. But that is it. You can keep that drive somewhere safe and use it for installing on multiple computers. And if you need a license code to activate any of those windows, then feel free to check out the links from premiumcdkeys.com forward slash mics unboxing where you can pick up a Windows license key for somewhere in the region of about $3. So there we go, now we've got our fresh new Windows 11 installation media disk here, so we can use this to install on multiple computers. And being it is the time of year, it is the moment, so we're in November and Christmas and holiday season is coming, so we probably will be building some PCs very shortly for people over the Christmas holidays and into the new year. Anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.